There are some species of fish that may appear strange, but still are some of the most sought out for. One of them is the Antarctica toothfish. In this video, we will be looking at the fishing process of Antarctica toothfish. But before we begin, make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. The Antarctic toothfish is a large, brown or black fish that can be found in very cold waters of the Southern Ocean near Antarctica. This fish is considered the largest fish in the Southern Ocean. It feeds on shrimp and smaller fish. It is also preyed on by whales, seals, and orcas. This fish is caught for food and marketed as Chilean sea bass with its sister species, the northerly Patagonian toothfish. By far, Antarctic toothfish are also the dominant fish predator in the Ross Sea. Although most Antarctic fish species are not really larger than 60 centimeters, Ross Sea toothfish can grow more than 2 meters in length and over 150 kilograms in mass. The Antarctic toothfish is also often called Antarctic cod. It belongs to the Nodothin family, which is also a group of fish species that can be found near Antarctica. So in the wild southern ocean of Antarctica, professional toothfish vessels confront the ray power of nature. Catching this fish takes some processes. In the Ross Sea, Antarctic toothfish are caught throughout the water column from about 300 meters to more than 2200 meters deep. Although most fish control their buoyancy through the use of a swim bladder, it's not the same as the toothfish, as they use lipids or fats, which lend their popularity as a food fish. Antarctic toothfish are always targeted and caught by licensed fisheries in the Southern Ocean. These fisheries mainly use bottom set long lines in depths of around 1200 to 1800 meters. They can also catch these species by trawl and pot. The fishing distance is up to 4,000 kilometers, this may sound unbelievable, right? While the fishing area sometimes also has ice, the view of Antarctica may be very pleasing to the eye, but also very cold. The sea is usually very rough, but it can sometimes be calm for those fish. Every catch usually takes place for one month, and it takes some time to prepare the long line fishing. The fishing line is usually released two times each day. The bait of the Antarctica toothfish is a small squid. The line pulling process will be done from afternoon to evening, which is also their feeding time. Once they pull those fish successfully, they may now return home with the fish caught. The next is to perform the cutting process. This fish has white flesh, which appears just like codfish. Its quality of nutrition is also very high. Both species of toothfish are sought after in most restaurants and high-end markets worldwide. The highly prized fish, which is also referred to as white gold, has also caught the attention of illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing vessels known as IUU. Antarctica toothfish feed on a variety of fish and squid since they are top predators. However, they are also important prey for Weddell seals, colossal squid, sperm whales, and a particular type of killer whale that feeds almost exclusively on toothfish. These toothfish have long been studied due to their ability to produce antifreeze proteins that resist their blood from crystallizing. While this is so, just a little is known about their life cycle and distribution. These toothfish live to almost 50 years of age and their growing process is relatively slow. Simply put, Antarctica toothfish likely mature between 13 and 17 years of age, which is always 120 to 133 centimeters in length. Based on various research, Antarctica toothfish have an extremely complex life cycle, which includes a striking spawning migration. Adults feed over the continental shelf and slope in the Ross Sea region, and then move from the Ross Sea continental shelf to northern sea mounts, ridges, and banks around the Pacific Antarctica ridge system. In the northern offshore waters, fish release their eggs, and these eggs are often picked up by the Ross gyre and brought back to the shelf. This supposition is much more likely but not yet proven due to the fact that their larvae or eggs have never been found. However, small juveniles have been found in other areas but never in the Ross Sea. This is why there's even more mystery to the life cycle of this fish. And that's it for today on Antarctic Toothfish Fishing. If you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. You can also drop a comment with your opinion about this toothfish. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.